Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are going to discuss something very important which is pertaining to Venus. Therefore, the topic of today is connection of Venus and Rathyatra. Okay, so many of you have been requesting me to make video on how to improve our Venus, how to improve our relationships, marriage, etc. Well, I have not made that video yet on specifically Venus of how about how to improve our Venus, but here I am giving a small snippet. Okay, so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, then please go to my website. You will find the link in the description of this video down. And before I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and you will find Him. Like you will find Him in Rath Yatra. All right. So now, what is Rath Yatra? I will not go into details, but Rath Yatra basically see that this this past time. How this Rathyatra, uh, this how how this concept of Lord Jagannath came? Well, most of the Indians know. For the Westerners, once in Vrindavan, no, no, <laughs> it was in Dwarka one day that Krishna, Lord Krishna, Lord Balaram, and Subhadra. We all know Krishna has Subhadra as his sister and Balaram, Balaramji as his younger brother. So Balaramji and Krishna were sitting, <laughs> and then Subhadra came there, and along with them, uh, along with her, the queens of uh, Dwarka, Lord Krishna's wives, they came, and then <laughs> they told Lord Krishna that, oh, we have to discuss something very special with Subhadra. So you both please go out of the room. <laughs> And then Krishna, as an obedient, hand-packed, helpless husband, said to his wives, "Yes, yes, yes, as you say." <laughs> and then Krishna went outside along with Balaramji. And then the wives of Krishna started asking Subhadra, "Oh, please tell us about Lord Krishna's pastimes, which he used to do when he was a kid in Vindavan. Please tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us." <coughs> So then Subhadra said, "I can tell you, but it's very dangerous because when I'm telling this, if somehow Krishna and Balaram comes and listens, <laughs> then they will go into trance. That's the problem. They will completely lose themselves. They will, they'll, they'll, they'll disappear maybe." <laughs> Because the pastimes which Lord Krishna had in Vrindavan, that those pastimes were the highest of the ecstasies, where the highest of the pleasures of spirituality had manifested with the Vrindavan Vasis. Have you gone to Vrindavan sometimes? If you have gone, then write it in the comments which temples have you visited. Okay, so now, then what happened? Subhadra said, I will tell you in one condition. You have to close this door. Because if you close it, then these two cannot come. So if you close it, then let's start speaking. And then Subhadra starts telling, Krishna used to steal butter, used to do this, used to do that, these kind of things. Pranks used to play. Then as Subhadra was saying this, she was going on saying, going on saying, going on saying. Then she also started going into trance. And outside, this Krishna and Balram were thinking, what's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> what's so exciting and what's so fascinating which is going on inside we also want to hear ah, these flies are coming so let's go and try to peep inside what's going on and then Krishna and Balaam also came there and when Subhadra was telling 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 about Vidnavan then suddenly Krishna and Balaam opened the doors opened the door and they started listening and everybody all the wives of Krishna they were so much they were so much immersed in Subhadra's uh, speech that they completely forgot that Krishna and Balaram are also standing in the in the door and because of that Krishna Balaram also started hearing what Subhadra was telling and the moment they started hearing what happened they went into trance and 
ecstatic symptoms started manifesting in their body eight fold ecstatic symptoms ashta satvik mahavikar as they say or ashta satvik mahabhav hair standing on end there and so many things are there perspiration choking of the choke, choke their uh, throat was choked they could not speak that's what happens when you are very happy what it's like happiness beyond imagination and then what happened because they were in so much ecstasy they were so happy it's the happiest form of god lord jagannath is the happiest form of god because of that what happened lord jagann krishna's hands shrinked <laughs> his eyes bulged out and there came that beautiful form of jagannath which was established in jagannath puri india in the eastern part and then subhadra <laughs> she noticed oh my god krishna and balram are here look at what's happening to them they have gone into trance and because of that this beautiful form has manifested and when she saw them in this state she also forgot everything and she also went into trance and her hands also shrinked and her eyes bulged out have you seen lord jagannath's eyes very big it is he's seeing everything <laughs> so subhadra mai also went into trance and that's it end of the story and then that moment the great sage narad muni had appeared and narad muni said i saw it <laughs> in hindi they said na dekh liya dekh liya dekh liya maine i saw it i saw it i saw it now i'll go and tell it to everybody what i have what i had seen and then there's a long past time how this uh, thing came in jagannath puri so if, if you want me to make a video on that then please let me know in the comments okay i will make a video on it later oh my god this video was on venus so what about <laughs> how about uh, jagannath puri now and this rath yatra so basically in rath yatra what happens is i will again not go to the past times of rath yatra in detail but uh when the uh, see basically why i'm saying of rath because rath is nothing but chariot right and chariot see is signified by i mean chariot is what basically it's a car so it is signified by venus because venus represents vehicles and cars and luxuries okay so they say that if we take part in the rath yatra festival which is there in rath yatra what happens is Uh, the jagannath the deity of jagannath baldev and subhadra there are three carts and there they pull the cart the people come and they will pull it yes we we all know about that gundi gundicha temple gundicha marjan we all know about that so now now is the time which uh, now is the perfect time you can go and see in jagannath puri if you are in india you can do that if you have time but suppose you are not in um, india then you can you can at least meditate on this and it is said that one who pulls the ropes of jagannath baldev or subhadra they do not take another birth they get liberation and they go back to the spiritual world where lord krishna says in the gita yad gatva na nivartante tadham paramam mama so basically venus is linked with chariots and there's a long story of how that happens and if i start saying it will take hours why they go to gundicha and from there they come back and lord jagannath is sick there what happens why so i'll not go into all those but if you are in india try to visit rath yatra in jagannath puri or nowadays in many uh, other cities also they are also conducting rath yatras many spiritual organizations are conducting for example even in berlin uh, the indian community is celebrating rath yatra on 21st the next saturday 21st july it is berlin is celebrating this so i'll be visiting and in hamburg on 18th august they are celebrating so if somebody is in germany and watching this then make sure you come there okay and when you go there try to try to take hold of that rope so it is said by that our venus improves because we are seeing god in that form and lord jagannath is the 
happiest form of God. So whenever we have any problems, we can pray to Lord Jagannath that please help me overcome this problem. Alright? And as I always give the example of that story that uh, there was one uh, king who had once announced that whatever you want to all, all the citizens, whatever you want, you will get. And then all the citizens started coming and asking him, I want land, I want a girl, I want a boyfriend, I want a husband, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then at the end, one, Brahm, one Brahmana came and this Brahmana asked the king, Oh, my dear king, I do not want anything, but I want you as my friend. So then what happened is the ministers of the king went to the home of this Brahmin and they decorated his home very nicely because the king would visit his friend sometimes right and so that's the lesson which i say from that story that instead of asking god for materialistic benedictions like when will i become a millionaire or when will i get married how beautiful my wife will be or how handsome my husband will be or how much rich he will be instead of asking all these things of course we can ask them there's no problem but we should also ask the blessing that, Oh my dear God, I don't know <laughs> what will happen to me. But please make sure that whatever happens at the end of my life, I remember you. Yes, and as Kunti Maharani says, Let my attraction be drawn towards you like the Ganges flows to the oceans. There are hindrances when the river flows. There are mountains, there are rocks, there are so many so many things which try to stop the river but no the Ganges keeps flowing and it goes and merges with the sea or ocean whatever you call it okay so we can pray to Lord Jagannath Lord Baldev and Subhadra Mai that please bless us and by that our Venus will definitely improve alright and we can also chant mantras like Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva that, that mantra is very important and we can also give donations and there are many places where we can also do online donations i think i don't know but uh, you can check in google maybe maybe they have some website or something like that or if you have somebody in india who is visiting you can give some donation to them that they can go and give it all right and apart from that we are uh, we know baldev ji jagannath baldev baldev is actually balram, balram ji only so baldev ji represents the adi guru Adi Guru means he is the origin of all the Gurus. He is Guru Tattva himself. So we need to pray to Balramji that please give us the strength to practice spiritual life. In this Kali Yuga it is very difficult. But by the blessings of Lord Balram that is possible that we also attain spiritual perfection. And we also need to pray to Subhadra Mai that please open the doors of happiness of spirituality. Because unless we find happiness in spirituality, nothing can work. <laughs> you will do some mantra today and tomorrow you will leave it. Of course, discipline is there. I am not saying discipline is not important. Discipline is very important. But ultimately, we have to get spiritual happiness inside. And that key is with Subhadra Mai. Because she is the Antaranga Shakti. She is the internal potency of Krishna. Okay, So, we can pray to Balramji that please give us strength to practice spiritual life please give us discipline please give us inner conviction that spirituality is all in all and then we can also pray to Subhadra Mai that please please make our spiritual life blissful blissful means that not that externally there are great things happening but let me become more and more happy and satisfied internally because even Venus gets exalted in Pisces which is the sign of spirituality all right and to Lord Jagannath, we can always pray that please bless us that I am always drawn towards you, <laughs> like Kunti Maharani says. All right, and we can also pray to them. And if we are there in Puri, we can pull the chariot. And when we are pulling it, we can pray to them that please help us that we can uh, spiritualize our marriage, Grihastha Ashram, as they call. Marriage is not just meant for having kids or uniting with the opposite sex enjoying having love romance all this will disappear that is why they say marriages are very boring why marriages are not boring two boring people come together and they create super boredom 
because the initial love and romance that fades away within weeks and then when you do not have spirituality then your life becomes very boring you're going on gossiping about who is having an affair who is having who is getting the promotion or who won the cricket match who won football <laughs> yes all these things they have they, their happiness is very limited because they are they are from the matter you see but we are spiritual beings at the inner core we are not matter so those things cannot satisfy us ultimately okay so we need to uh, pray to god to lord jagannath that we find satisfaction in spirituality all right and we can also pray that our venus improves if our venus is afflicted or it's in debility or it's with it's in a dusthana or whatever you call it or combustor or whatever it is all right and by that our venus will definitely improve okay until next time if you are in puri do visit and enjoy the prasadam which they give their chappan bhog and feed others prasadam eat prasadam enjoy have a good time okay there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation then please approach me to my website you will find the link in the description of this video below okay and before i end god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so go to jagannath puri improve your venus meditate on the past times of krishna and jagannath that's it and yes by the way jagannath means lord of the entire universe that's the name i should have said this in beginning but better late than never okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you